Ode to Chardonnay by Allie Merrick. It was many and many a year ago with a bottle of Chardonnay that I first fell in love with wine in a whole new way. Before this bottle, I swore an oath to drink just red and never both. Red for me was nearly ideal. I'd have it with every single meal. Carnivorous when I dine, it just made sense to drink red wine. Then one day I was poured a wine in a home that wasn't mine. What filled my glass wasn't red, not even pink, but white instead. Not wanting to offend and come across as rude, I swirled the glass a bit and shifted focus to my food. The focus never came as I became distracted. It was to the aromatics of the wine that I reacted. Bright steely notes swirled and sped as I sat up, inhaling with intention in attempt of keeping up. Sipped and savored layers of flavor streaking by, breathed in each nuance. I exhaled with a deep sigh. What just happened? I asked out loud, unaware of the nearby crowd. It's Chardonnay, someone said. I grabbed the bottle and then I read. It was indeed Chardonnay, but I'd never had one taste that way. Had I known it could be like this, like angels' tear, like love's first kiss, like heaven's mist and morning's dew, like promises and oaths held true, I would have never turned away and silenced a wine with so much to say. Speaking of which, here's what it said, as I now hungered for what it fed. While I'm not red like Cabernet, much like Pinot, I have much to say. While I don't shout but whisper by choice, you'll find there's value in my voice. I speak from vines of Burgundy, from a place that's called Chablis. I carry with me little weight but substance that will satiate. Forward fruit that will not bend my acidity knows no end. You'll find that I am beautifully brisk, worthy of one taking a risk. The Chardonnay had made its case, and with it built a solid base on my palate that now craves Chardonnay for which I raved. Cheers to you, Chardonnay. May more explore what you have to say. Cheers.